Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Family Sedan Channel. Today we have seen XRP pump against Bitcoin, and at least one analyst within the XRP community uh, thinks we should expect to see the trend continue substantially in the coming weeks. So I suppose the question is, have we found already a local bottom in terms of price action? Well, I've been sharing with you perspective from a number of analysts, especially in recent days. Um, a lot of people think that what's most probable is actually we're going to be going a, get, a, a bit lower. So it seems more like a dispute in terms of where the bottom actually would be. Would it be pretty much right now or would we be seeing XRP somewhere in the 30 something range? But uh, pretty much everybody to this point that I've seen, they kind of agree once that happens, that will be the actual floor and then whoosh, to the upside. Um, and, and also, by the way, this this comes against the backdrop or at least over the last couple of days, there have been some really quick moves in crypto. I don't know if you've been paying attention um, to daily in price. It's probably not healthy to do so. I just do it because I'm interested in crypto and, you know, I put out content on YouTube. So I, I pay a, a, you know, a fair bit of attention to this. Uh, there was a massive drop, and I'll show you the charts at the, the outset of the video here. But uh, we had an instance where Bitcoin, which is a little below 27000 bucks right now, it it almost ended up in the 25000 And uh, And what's interesting, again, as this happened, the XRP moved to the upside. So, in fact, Bitcoin earlier today, I saw it down probably about 4.5% over the previous 24 hours. Well, XRP was up almost 3%. And as I'm recording this, XRP is up over the last 24 hours, 2.64%. And I don't mind seeing that. Look, I'm pro Bitcoin. I've, I've been holding it since 2017, but uh, much more interested in XRP for a lot of reasons. Uh, an important one for me anyway, being that it is my largest holding. <laughs> it's my favorite cryptocurrency. So love seeing it perform like that. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. All right, as I record this, XRP at $0.43, cents, Bitcoin at $26,893, market cap for the asset class $1.13 trillion, and Bitcoin dominates at 47 point, I'm sorry, 45.78%, rather. And here's the... Here's a 24-hour chart for XRP, and I'll flip it over to Bitcoin. You can see most of it looks really quite similar, but uh, where I'm circling right here, this is the, the notable dip just, just in the afternoon. And then here you have Bitcoin. Um, I, whoa, I don't know why it's taking so long to load here. That was a weird screen flash. Let me hit refresh here. I don't know what's going on here. Technical mishap, folks. I blame Bill Gates. Uh, here we go. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, Bitcoin, dramatic move to the downside. So a 24-hour low for Bitcoin, $26,000, um, you know, $26,025.04 $26 technically, and then just popped back on up to the upside. It uh, doesn't mean that things won't get a little bit worse before they get better, and that's what a lot of analysts are thinking here. But uh, as far as XRP against Bitcoin, if you're looking at the XRP BTC pair, well, I'll take a look at this headline from the Crypto Basic. Analysts look out for an XRP pump against Bitcoin. There is a consensus among these market watchers that the price of XRP against Bitcoin might consolidate for some weeks before staging a rally. And folks, I've been saying that. So this is a new article from today. I've noted that there's a lot of analysts that indeed do say just that. Of the analysts that I personally follow. And not surprised to see that that's been picked up by this crypto media outlet. Anyway, peace continues. XRP has been underperforming compared to Bitcoin since the start of April leading to persistent XRP slash BTC declines for the past five weeks. However, analysts are currently looking out for a pump as they identify a key support level at the current position. Cryptos, an XRP and BTC chartist, recently called attention to the support, picking up data from the XRP BTC weekly chart. The chart shows that the price of XRP has continued to drop against Bitcoin's value for five consecutive weeks, since April 3rd. And he, here's the tweet that he shared. It was, quote, this is the most significant support on the XRP BTC chart, and I think this is where we bottom. Uh, could consolidate for a few weeks before we move to the upside XRP. And so it is interesting that we're now seeing today that XRP has been notably outperforming Bitcoin. And uh, here's uh, something that was shared, by the way, from uh, Elon Musk, who, of course, owns Twitter now. And he tweeted out, the most entertaining outcome is the most likely. He tweeted that out. And uh, I've seen him tweet that out before. 
And I've seen him articulate that, that that's his take on Occam's razor. And so that was retweeted by uh, chart analyst Credible Crypto. And Credible Crypto wrote the following. New all-time highs on Bitcoin is t- in 2023. In the middle of a banking crisis, while most are sat on the sidelines waiting for the halving run up in 2024 to 2025. Certainly more entertaining than boring sideways price action on Bitcoin for the next two years, smiley face. So I don't pretend to know what's going to happen, but Credible Crypto, uh, I'm, you know, I admire his guts in coming out and being one of the very few analysts uh, who says, yes, in 2023, this very year, we are going to see a new all-time high for Bitcoin. I, I think he's the only analyst that I follow that says that. So, and this is what I've said before, and I'm so thankful that I am not a chart analyst because, my God, the level of hate the chart analysts get, it's like off the charts. And you always get, if you're, if you're creating content on, on YouTube in any category, even having nothing to do with crypto, you're always going to have to deal with that to some degree, and I, I don't care about that. But my, I'm just noting that the chart guys get it way, way, way more intensely. So um, I hope he's right. I would love to see that. I would definitely love to see that. Again, I don't pretend to know. But he's been sharing his perspective on this f- for years on end, and he's been pretty damn consistent. So this, this, this isn't a, a new perspective from him. We'll just see if it actually plays out, though. Uh, and then there was also this from Chart Analyst Income Sharks, which... I think it's kind of like along the lines of sage wisdom so far as I'm concerned anyway. And he, he tweeted out the following just this morning. I spent years making mistakes in crypto. Most of these lessons cost a lot of money too. And then he cites three things. Number one, take profits when you are excited slash don't want to. Now folks, that is going to be one of the hardest things because when XRP does start going, you're, you, you're going to internally do this thing, or at least a lot of people will, where they're going to feel like, ah, but XRP's going up right now. What if I sell? I'm going to be such a sap. And then it goes way higher. What if it goes two or three times higher and it's already at a new all-time high? If you're in that situation, again, I'm not telling you to buy or sell. You do whatever you want. I'm just noting that humans in that situation have a hard time. And I, I, it, here's what I've done. I've made peace with the fact that I will not sell the top. I am not capable of selling the top. It just ain't going to happen. So I'm going to sell at a level that is incredibly appealing to me. And, uh, and then once it sells, even if it goes two, three, four, five times, I don't care how much higher, I'm not going to beat myself up over it. I, I, and I've been mentally preparing myself for this for years. And mind you, I've never sold a single XRP. So that will be a new event for me when that happens. And I will talk about it when I do it. And I'm going to scale out over some period of time. That's my plan anyway. And, and these things happen quickly. Like when XRP went from 20 cents to its all-time high, you know, up to close to four bucks, it only took about two and a half weeks. So as soon as we start seeing things move and it gets into those levels, there will be a really short time period where, where, you know, there's going to be an opportunity, perhaps anyway, you know, if we see a repeat of history or rhyming of history, at least in that regards. So yeah, when it comes to taking profit, no, not going to be beating myself up. I've thought about this quite a bit. And, and then there will always be those jackasses out there who are not particularly friendly. And I'll talk about where and when I'm selling. And then if it goes up two or three times above that, like, look at that idiot Moon Lambo guy. Because by then my name will be Moon Lambo again. Look at that idiot Moon Lambo guy. And I'll be like, no, shut your damn mouth. Little punk ass bith. That's how Mike Tyson would say it. Little punk ass bith. Mike Tyson. Uh, I, I don't, I don't give a damn. Because my point is, like, I, I've invested way more than almost any human on the planet into XRP. I just have. It's very risky. That's what I decided to do for myself. And the reason that I did that was so that when it does start running, I don't have to worry about whether or not XRP, when it breaks into price discovery, finally after hitting a new all-time high, I don't have to worry about getting it sold at you know ten bucks even or twenty bucks or whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna be out well before that. That's my plan. And so, for people to make an equivalent amount of money to me, depending on what your holdings are, maybe you do need to hold it to twenty or thirty bucks. And I'm not telling you to do that. I'm not advising anything. I'm just noting that different people hold different amounts of XRP and have different desires for it. I mean, there are people listening right now that definitely hold a lot more XRP than me, and I still think I hold a lot, subjectively. But it's a very subjective thing, you know? And so people want different exits. I'm, I'm just saying, I ain't going to fall in that trap. I am just not going to do it. Just like I don't fall in the trap of panic selling. I'm very good at that also. 
So it will be a new experience when I'm finally in the position time to sell. I, maybe I will feel a little bit nervous at that point. I don't feel nervous when price drops, but I'm not used to getting to the point where it's like, I really do need to sell. But even if I do feel nervous, I'm highly confident I'm going to be controlling myself. And they said, number two, if everyone on Twitter is telling you to buy, you are too late. <laughs> yeah, that's for damn sure. I'm going to talk more about that in just a second here. Meme coins. Number three, there is always a new trend. If you missed one, catch the next. And... and I remember um, being new to crypto, and especially when you're new to crypto, you think, oh, I just missed this. I wish it had been in five years sooner or 10 years sooner or whatever. So I remember even having little tinges of that type of feeling back in 2017 and early 2018. But my God, look at how much opportunity has clearly, you know, presented itself over the last, you know, a little over half a decade that I've been in crypto. There's been no shortage of opportunity. And so... You know, don't don't beat yourself up if you miss something. You're not going to be able to catch everything. But the point is, just having exposure is, you know, if you're not a complete idiot, it, it, it can result in life-changing wealth, you know? And I, I think that most typical Lemming retail speculators out there, you know, maybe not going to be doing so well, but also there's Lemming retail speculators in equities that don't do so well. So if you're paying attention, you've informed yourself, and I think that's the vast majority of you out there listening because you're actually paying attention uh, you, you you can do fine. There, there's, there is real opportunity here, but just don't beat yourself up for missing stuff because that's, that's the type of thing that can lead you into FOMOing, into stuff like Pepe coin after it has gone up 6,600%. Now, look, I don't know the future for this coin, but I just got to ask, like, imagine 10 years from now, is it more likely we're going to be talking about the global adoption of Pepe coin are we going to be talking about the global adoption of XRP? What's more probable, A or B? Let me know what you think. I'm Look, I'm just saying, maybe some meme coins actually live, and okay, whatever, we're living in crazy times, I guess. I'm not, I don't know if that's going to be the case. <laughs> I mean, maybe, if, look, if that happens, it will be in large part because communities exist around such coins. But is, is, is this Pepe coin going to be one that exists? I've only talked about it a couple times on the channel because this meme coin stuff, it's, it's stupid to me, and I'm not interested. And, and I don't mean uh, to offend anybody if you have purchased. If you want to go do that and have some fun with it, I'm not telling you what to do. That's fine. I get it. I'm just speaking for myself. We have You and I listening, uh, you, you listening and me speaking here, rather, we have strong overlap in our interest when it comes to XRP and, and broadly in crypto. It doesn't mean we're going to overlap in interest in every single coin. So if you're into Pepe and you like the meme coin stuff and you're having fun and you're cool with that level of risk, go for it. I'm just warning that like, there's a lot of people, especially if they're new to crypto, that don't understand by the time you're hearing about this coin and it's already up 6,600%, you know, and, and then you, you buy in, uh, the run already happened, folks. So unless you think that it's going to persist way into the future, could potentially be a bad idea. And so here's the headline from the Daily Huddle. Here's what's next for Dogecoin and Shiba Inu rival Pepe after exploding over 6,600% in under a month. And this comes from Santiment. They do all sorts of awesome on-chain analytics. I'm a big fan. Blockchain analytics platform Santiment says that interest may be declining in the meme coin Pepe after its explosive run. Oh, color me surprised. Sentiment says that the Dogecoin and Shiba Inu rival will likely not reach its May 5th all-time high price again, but could see a smaller move to the upside in the near term after plummeting in value by 67%. According to Sentiment, its social dominance metric is closely mirroring Pepe's price action. And if the metric dips a few percentage points lower, it would indicate traders are moving on. So I just, submit, uh, just imagine Mr. Mouthbreather out there wondering what to do, like, oh, oh my God. Oh, I want to sell my Pepe coins. Oh, Pepe coins. Oh, before I go down lower. That's what kind of enters my head. I just assume that a lot of these retail speculators out there that jump in at the top, that just, that's probably what they sound like and what's going through the minds right now. Just, just, just an educated guess. I don't know. And if you jumped in, I'm not saying that's you. Don't get offended. Don't get your feel feels hurt. I'm just saying. But here's the quote from Sandiment. Pepe is still making up about 5% of discussions compared to top 100 assets. And seeing it get down to the 1% to 2% range would be a good sign that traders are beginning to stray away from and look for pumps from other altcoins into court. So, hey, I'm not saying it can't go up. I'm just saying in terms of this being 
uh, wild and the life changing. Because look, you you saw the stories, right? About how from bottom to the top, I can't. What was it up? I'm pulling from memory. I could be even correct, but wasn't it up at some point like over a million percent or something stupid like that? I remember I shared a story where this this guy he literally made. I think it was one point seven million dollars from this stupid thing. But how many humans is that? So I'm not saying it's impossible, but to be in the right place at the right time and to be so bold without reason behind it to put enough money in that it would result in that type of money and the idea that you wouldn't sell too soon uh, for it to be life-changing wealth. It's just like, mm, that's that's a lot of ifs. You know, that's just the odds of that happening, it's not particularly realistic. You know, people win the lottery too, and you could as well, but are you going to... That's why I don't play that thing. You know what my older brother calls the, the lottery? He calls it the idiot tax. That sounds about right. <laughs> I'm just having fun, folks. Come on, laugh a little bit. <sighs> I'm just glad I'm holding my XRP. Like, that's a sweet spot for me. I, I get it. I, I understand that it's it's exciting when things are moving. And, if, if, you know, my favorite cryptocurrency has mostly been down or sideways, or at least recently anyway. Okay, whatever. But uh, for me, it's a sweet spot in investing because... There's so little money that you still can achieve life-changing wealth and investing it. I still believe that personally, very strongly. But it also has been around for a decade, and it's actually it actually is real-world adoption. And over the last year, there's been an increase in terms of developers building on top of the XRP ledger, which is somewhat rare, especially in this environment. So I, I look at all that, and then in my investment thesis being that utility matters and will win the day, I'm just sitting here thinking, this is more of my comfort zone. Yeah, it's a large cap coin, but there's almost no money in crypto and barely any money in XRP compared to what I think will be in it in the future. So I'm just going to stay here. <laughs> I'm just going to sit tight. <laughs> I think it's going to be just fine. I will continue to be more patient than every other human on the planet. That's my strategy. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Family Sedan. <laughs>